Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn how to create a choice board. And the example of choice board that I'm using is a read aloud choice board for students. So I'm going to show you how to create this. So here are two different examples. Um, and these are all stories and links from Storyline Online. And these are stories and links from the free options on books. So to begin, you can start in slides. If you don't know how to get to slides on Google, there's this little area here, Google Apps. Click on slides. If yours is somewhere else, you might have to scroll a little bit, but click on slides. and either you can use something you already have. I will be inputting uh, the link to the choice board template in the description box below if you would like. Uh, so if you would like to edit something you've already started, you can find that or create a new slide deck, so, which is what we'll be doing here. So in this new version, you can click on the text box on the lines press delete, click delete, if you'd like to get this out of the way you can also click the X. Um, I pulled over some of my other slides just so we have them. You're going to click insert, you're going to scroll down to table, and you can create whatever size table you're interested in. For right now we'll just do a 3 by 2 and you can click the corners to drag it to whatever size you're looking for. And so next we'll adjust the borders. So clicking on the text um, table here, you're going to go to format, come down to borders and lines. You can adjust the border color if it, you would like something else. I'm going with black. Border lines, you can also adjust the weight, so the, the thickness of the line. So I'm just going to go Let's test out what three looks like. Oh, so it looks like it only selected one. So I'm going to make sure that they are all highlighted. Format, weight, three. So now they're all the same thickness, but somehow not the same color. So we're going to highlight all of them. Format, and we'll go with red because why not? And now if you would like to insert a title, text box, choice board, whatever you'd like, you can adjust the arrangement of the text with some of these choices here. You can even center it within the box. So now to input the books. So you can find whatever link you're looking for. If you're not importing books, you, maybe you're doing something else. Uh, you are going to need a cover image to have that link associated with. So I'm choosing Storyline Online. So I'm just going to hover over this image and I'm going to hold control and click and copy this image. If you have a mouse, you can also hover over and right click and choose copy. And now I'm going to hover in this box, control click, paste. There's my image. You can resize your image, you can adjust it, center it, whatever you'd like. And now I'm going to need that link. So I'm going to go back to that website, click on the link I'm looking for, copy it, click the image that I would like to um, have that link associated with, go to insert in the top left corner, scroll down to link, and paste the link there and apply. So now you can do the same thing for all your squares and whatever you would like. 
So these are all with Storyline Online. And some of my other books, this choice board here, were all with Vooks, which is also a wonderful website to use. And to have the image here, I did take a screenshot of this. So on my Mac, I used Command Shift 4, and then I, I took a screenshot, saved it automatically to my desktop. And instead of pasting it, I uploaded the image from my computer to place it here and then inserted the link to our book here. So to get this free access, which is where these, these uh, books are coming from, um, you may just need to search books and choose free access so that students do not have to have any hassle to sign in because you do need a teacher account. And that is where I got these links from for students uh, to just click and go. So I hope this was helpful in creating your choice board and maybe giving you some other resources. Uh, thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe so I know to make more videos like these. Thank you.